Six three eight, David. Raise one here, just on AM. PC122XL for Gareth in UK. Here on upper sideband, 12345-54321. And uh, next up on lower sideband. And 12345-54321. And uh, finally on AM. And on AM, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And I'll just show a one kilohertz tone signal running through this mic jig next, if you care to watch once again through the modes. Just a quick scan around on this RHF VFO PC122XL for Gareth in UK. Kicking off with some AM. So I'll start somewhere down the bottom of 26. I mean, it can. This VFO will go down as low as 25. 
and as high as 30. So that's the limits I've set. Uh, let's start in that 10 kc range. I'll just increase the volume a little bit. And as the bandwidth starts to come into action, you know, inside the, um, the Q curve, we'll start to hear the RX start to kick in. So basically at the low end of 26, All right, we just got a bit of lower side for a while. Bit quiet out there at the moment. Sugar Papa 001 from NZ. Tom. No one at Triple Nickel at the moment. Uh, bandwidth slowly dropping off as you go towards the upper end of 27s near 28. the digital modes.
And it's starting to get pretty dead by the time you hit 29. Anyway, there you go. I'll just bring that volume right back. Double tap. Brings you back to home base or first uh, memory location as per boot up. There you go. Thanks for listening. Another uh, another radio, our uh, HF VFO. All right, cheers. Okay, what we got here is a quick band spread uh, modulation demo for this PC122, so broadband TX RF power. We're just injecting one kilohertz tone signal through this mic jig that obviously runs through here into here so that when I Yes, it is triggering it. Now, you'll see from the other camera angle, the RF power is quite low at 25, and I'm going to go 100 kilohertz steps. So just pay attention to the RF power meter, and you might even see at some stage the waterfall display show um, the RF power to come through. So there we go. So we've got full. Uh, we're going to sweep on the way back down. So obviously drops off at the high end of 28, and obviously 29 is completely down. So I'll cycle through, we're at 30 megahertz, back to 25. So now this time, watching the RF power meter, as we hit sort of acceptable power levels that are you know useful for on-air work. So from about 26.5, and we're holding pretty decent power all the way up to 28 megahertz and then we quickly drop down as per the chart showing. And we're back to 30 megahertz again. So yeah, that's the TX RF power. All right, that's it, cheers.